hitungan ketiga anda harus subscribe 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 subscribe, subscribe. subscribe. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to chapter 11 Yes, we made it In this chapter, we will learn to give an account of events and activities in order to share our experience to show that we're proud of them to learn from them and to report them If you have your English book When English rings April great you can open on page 169 let's read the dialogue below let's work together to plan our text to tell our experience okay I'll tell how my brother and I made the garden benches I'll tell how we won the first prize of the classroom competition. What about you, Lina? I will tell my sister's funny experience last Saturday. She went to school on Saturday. Let's start with Ada's story. First, how did you and your brother have the idea of making garden benches? My father cut down the old mango tree behind our house three weeks ago. We saw a big piece of wood. Then we had the idea. What did you do? We told Dad that we wanted to make garden benches from the wood. He agreed and he would help us. What did you father do to help you? He sawed the wood into three pieces, 25 cm in diameter and 25 cm in height. And after that, after that, we rubbed them with sandpaper to make them smooth. Then we dried them in the sun for a week. When they were dry, what did you do? We painted them one green one red and one blue then we dried them again in the sun for three days okay now let's help edo write his experience in good order okay now on page 174 please read the dialogue below I want to tell how our class won the first prize of the classroom competition. Let's guide Udin to tell how our class won the first prize of the classroom competition. How did you know the classroom competition? The principal announced the classroom competition on Monday in the flag ceremony. Okay, what did you do then? When we were back to the classroom, we realized that many desks and chairs are old and dirty. Some had loose legs. And then, in the afternoon, we told and agreed to come on Saturday to fix them. What did we bring to work on Saturday? On Saturday, each of us brought something from home like soap, clothes, a broom, a mop, nails, a hammer, a duster, and so on. What did the students do with the desks and chairs? Some of us waste the desks and the chairs, some furnish them, some fix the legs. So, We won the competition. Yes, now our desks and chairs are clean and strong. And we won the first prize of the classroom competition. Now please open page 183. Let's read the dialogue below. You look tired and sleepy. Why? 
I only slept for three hours last night. At ten, we heard a cry from Mrs. Wayne's home. She is our next door neighbor. She is seventy years old and very weak. She lives alone. We went there quickly and we found her on the floor. She just fell. She couldn't move her hands and her legs. At 10.30, my parents and I took Mrs. Wayan to hospital. My father and I sat in the front seats. In the back seats, my mom was holding Mrs. Wayan. In the emergency room, a doctor examined her. Then he said, Mrs. Wayan had to stay in the hospital. When she was already in the ward, we went home. It was 2 a.m. Now please open page 187. Let's read the dialogue below. You said your little sister did something funny this morning? What is that? Yes, last Saturday, my little sister, Dina, did something funny. She got up very late at 6. She ran fast to the bathroom. She thought she would be late to school. She forgot it was Saturday. She took a very quick bath, got dressed, took her bag, and ran off to school. She did not even have breakfast. After walking for five minutes, she noticed that no other children were going to school. Soon, she realized it was Saturday, so she walked back home. We all laughed at her when she got home. She also laughed at herself. Then she changed her clothes and went back to bed. My naughty sister.